Good day, friends. It is me, HL Mod Tech, and I'm here today with the ANET ET4. Friends, some people have been working super hard to get Marlin 2.0 on this critter, and I just got a file from ANET that we can flash with ST Link version 2. So, my friends, let's get cracking. Before we go too far, make sure you check your model. Notice if we hit info, I am using the ET4. It's not a pro, it's got nothing modded. It is the exact ET4 that homes upward that you get when you first order it online. I have no BL touch or anything like that. It just uses the capacitive sensor that we can attach to do bed leveling. So make sure you got the right version. All right, we need to remove the case. You voided your warranty. You should know that by now. I've got a little screwdriver that helps take out these screws nice and quick. And I've got a little metal tray that I can store them in so I can put them back when I'm done. We'll speed this up so you don't have to watch me do the unscrewing. And this is the controller board, and that's the location we're going to plug in the SD link. All right, friends, once again, we are programming right up here, and I'm going to be using the ST link version 2. And I'll put a link to it in the description. All righty, friends, so when you get your ST link version 2, make sure you check which pins are labeled here. They're numbered 1 through 10. And we need to use the SW clock and the SWD IO and the ground. And we're going to do black for the ground. And then we're going to do brown and we're going to do white. And we'll connect those with the included jumper wire really, really quick. So these pins are numbered. Black is usually ground. So I'm going to go down three and I'm going to connect it with the black pin. That's also the one we use to mark it in the machine. We're going to do the I.O. as the brown one, and then we're going to use the last one as white. So gray will not get used. So once again, clock is white, input output is brown. And you want to have those pins on there right, or nothing else is going to work for you. All right, so inside the machine, make sure you stay away from the power wires. Right now it's powered off, but we will have to power it on when it's time to work. Now remember, we're not using the gray wire, so I'm going to bend it out of the way. We are going to use the black which goes on the ground pin it is closest to this chip and there's a cute little g beside it for ground and then the next pin that we need to connect is the white pin always making sure you double check the white pin was our clock and then the last of the three that we connect is the brown pin which is the io there is a fourth pin that we are leaving unconnected and then i've got a USB extension cable that goes from my PC to the adapter. Notice you do have to hold this in place. This thing slides around on me. Now let's move to the PC and finish the flash. Alrighty friends, so this link will be in the description. This is where you get the source. If you click on this button, it gives you the source.zip and then you can click the download button so you can store it on your PC. I'm going to put mine in my downloads folder. It's going to be called source zip on one. I've already did it once before, but I'll just do it again in the video. Alrighty friends. So with that downloaded, let's unzip it real quick. If we do seven zip and we just do extract here, it'll make a folder for us called firmware. And then it's got a underscore and then it's got a dash. That dash does not work with ST link. So I'm going to select it and I'm going to change it to a shift underscore. And now ST link will be able to see inside it. it. Took me a while to figure that out, but now we've got it solved. So just make sure you change that to a shift underscore. We are going to be using the ST link version two. I will put a link to this video where I show you how to recover if things go bad. And remember, we learned that from Carl over on this website. It also is the place where I'm going to point you to for the link. If you click right here, you can order your SD Link version 2. And if you click here, you can get the ST Link utility and two versions of the firmware. So let's download that again. I'll put it in the same downloads folder. It's called ET4zip, and I'm going to hit save. All right, friends. So here is where I downloaded that. Let's use 7-zip, and let's extract it here. In my new ET4 folder, this is the installer. We're going to extract it as well. Once again, 7-zip extract here. And let's do the install process. Tell it yes. Let it run through all the little things it needs to do. Give it a next, a yes. Let it have its default location. Next on the drivers, finish. 
and finish. So when ST-Link installs, it puts this STM32 down here. You can also find it by clicking search and typing ST space link, and it'll take you to the STM link app. Once you're there, it's time to power on your plugged in ET4. Alrighty friends, let's see if we can show you everything we got going on here. Remember we plugged these in black, brown, white, up here, you've got the black, white, brown, starting from the G and ground, because the black always means ground. This is my wire that fits all the way across with them plugged in. This will light up. You'll hear the magic noise. And let's turn on the printer so that we can actually connect the ST-Link utility. When we hit connect, it populates and it shows us the original firmware. Now you don't want to lose your firmware, so let's start by just saving that. We're going to do file save file as. I'm going to put it in my downloads. And remember we had that folder ET4 open source. I'm going to open that and I'm going to call it original. ANET ET4. And I'm just going to hit save. So it's always good to do a backup. You can see it only takes a moment, and you're always happier when you have a backup in the end if things go wrong. With that completed, we need to find the file. So we're just going to hit the binary file. And remember, we're looking for the downloads, and we changed that file name. If you don't do that, you'll be able to see it, but you won't be able to load it. And then we want the new ET4 bin. When that loads, the final part of the project is to simply hit target and program double check it's the file you want and remember this project is your responsibility so let's hit start and see what we make all right i thought it'd be cool to show you the screen on the et4 as the change was happening but as you can see there is not a darn thing happening until it finally reboots Yes, we have Marlin. Alrighty friends, so there you have it, the ANET ET4 upgraded to Marlin 2.0. You do have to buy an adapter, but the steps are really not that difficult. And once you have the adapter, you can also back up your firmware, which is always cool too. I did do a test print. I have got the lovely little Happy Crab and it printed just like you'd expect it to. And now I'm gonna run through all the cool features and stuff, but I'm gonna save that for another video. Friends, if you enjoyed this video, please give it a like. If you've got a question, comment, or a suggestion, add it down below. If you haven't subscribed yet, what are you waiting for? Smash that subscribe button. And last but not least, hit that notification bell if you want to be the first to know when there's a brand new video from me, HL Mod Tech. Thanks for watching. Have a great day.